guys, welcome back to my channel. I know this video is supposed to be up last week, but as some of you already know through my social media accounts, I had food poisoning for a few days. And then yesterday when I went to film this video, my camera batteries died halfway through recording and I went to bed. I did. I went to bed. It was 2 a.m. and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to bed and this video is gonna have to wait. A lot of unfortunate events have happened and you know what? That's okay. So anyways, um, I decided to do a tag video this week because I just thought it would be easiest considering so many things have gone on and I figured why not I can just sit down and talk to you guys I haven't really talked to you guys since my self-love video which in that video I was talking to you but I was also explaining what had happened and why I was gone so I thought why not just make a fun little video and yeah we can have fun with it this is the 15 weird questions tag and I thought this would be fun um, if in the comment section any of you guys want to answer these questions that would be awesome because I don't know some of them are a little weird and I feel weird answering them but I'm excited this should be fun um, this was the only tag that I saw that I really felt like doing so I have it all written down on this piece of paper and um, yeah let's just get to it number one is what's a nickname only your family calls you and truth be told growing up I didn't really have a nickname that my family called me everyone called me Kayla everyone in my family except for my grandma my grandma called me pumpkin which was really sweet and I miss my grandma so much for that she'd be like pumpkin can you bring me some Pepsi you know and it was just so sweet it was so sweet and I love and miss my grandma so much um, but like my mom and my brothers and my sisters didn't really call me anything they called me Kayla and I'm um, pretty sure that's it honestly I'm pretty sure that's it I did have a really close-knit group of friends um, and they called me little K that was my nickname little K and then my other set of friends called me K just K-A-Y K be like hey K hey K you know I don't know that's just what they called me unless you consider mommy a nickname in that case my nickname within my family is mommy Number two is, what's a weird habit of yours? I asked my husband about this and it took us about 30 minutes to think of anything and we still couldn't find anything that was quote unquote weird. So I texted my best friend and immediately, she knew, girl knew. Okay, so say you have an energy drink or a soda can. It has to be a can and the little tab that you like, you know, to open the can, I turn that to the right. So I, I literally take the can tab and I turn it to the right. Okay, it's kind of weird. You guys, I'm not weird, okay? I'm really not that weird, it's totally normal. So you have a soda can and you're going to drink and the tab is straight, well then it's gonna hit your nose. And when it hits your nose, it's either gonna be annoying and get your nose, like whatever you're drinking on your nose, or it's gonna take your makeup off of your nose. Either way, it's not pleasant. So I turn it to the right so that way the can doesn't hit my nose and also so that way I know what can is mine. So if I'm like at a friend's house or we're in the car or just cans are sitting around my house, um, I know which one is mine, which is really convenient because Otherwise, I'd be drinking my husband's energy drink and, you know, my friend's soda or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, apparently it's weird to everyone, but to me, it's normal, okay? I swear, it is normal. And it makes sense. It makes perfect sense to me. Like, you don't want to mess up your nose makeup and uh, you don't want your nose to get soda on it. And who likes a tab touching their nose? I mean, come on. It's genius. Number three is, do you have any weird phobias? And the answer would be no. My phobias are very normal. Like falling, um, I'm afraid of heights, I'm afraid of flying, I'm afraid of driving fast, I'm afraid of windy roads that have like cliffs. <laughs> those aren't my thing um, my husband's driving all my phobias are really normal I'm afraid of McDonald's because they have lots of chemicals in their food and it's kind of scary to think about what's in there we don't eat McDonald's especially the chicken nuggets oh my kids will never have McDonald's chicken nuggets call me crazy but stuff they put in there mm, not about it but yeah all my phobias are pretty normal I would say number four what is a song that you secretly blast and belt out when you're alone okay let's be real I'm never alone I'm never alone I'm always my kids so I'm gonna reword this question what is a song that you secretly belt out and blast with your kids one would have to be Hillary Duff what dreams are made of and number two would have to be stronger by Christina Aguilera those two songs are like my little girly songs you know that I love to listen to when I'm by myself or when I'm cleaning the house or when I'm getting ready and my husband isn't around because he'd probably laugh at me but I'm like yes 
I love it. I love it so much. And it's cool because my daughter loves those songs as well. So, you know, we share that together as girls. And um, yeah, those are my two favorite secrecy songs. The songs I wouldn't play in the car because that would be embarrassing. Number five is what is your biggest pet peeve? Honestly, my biggest pet peeve is fake people. Like if you can't be real, if you can't be real to me, if we can't be on the same level, like if you're not down to earth, if you're not true to yourself and true to me, then you're wasting my time. Like I can't stand people who are a clone of something or like what they feel they're supposed to be or like they try to be something. It's just, I just oh, it gets under my skin because for me, I'm very outspoken. I will say whatever is on my mind at any given moment and I just kind of have no shame, I guess. I don't know. I'm just like blunt, I guess. I don't know, I just, I am who I am, and I always have been that way. Those who know me would know that. I've always been whoever I felt that I was, and I just can't stand people who are like artificial, you know? It's just, they're just like, no, no, you know? And it's just like, no, dude, like you do you, I do me, and we're good. Um, I can't stand fake people, so people who I feel are fake, I tend to stray away from. And for me personally, I love almost everybody, and I'm accepting of almost everybody and everybody's mistakes, and I'm very forgiving. Like, my worst enemy right now could come up to me and apologize and try to make amends, and I'd probably accept it. And I don't know if we'd be best friends, but I mean, we'd be good, you know? That's what I'm all about. Like, I'll see somebody totally flawed and I'll try to find the one good thing in them and just be like, hold on to that, you know? Or like, my friends will come up to me with advice of like, you know, this guy did this and he's so terrible and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, maybe he was having a bad day. Or like, oh, well, maybe he just needs to grow up a little, you know? Like, I, I still try to find the good in everybody and I've always been that way. And yeah, I just can't stand fake people, I guess. that's. That's all. That's all. I went on a little tangent, but that's about it. So biggest pet peeve, big people for sure. Number six is what is one of your nervous habits? And this is so bad. Nobody really knows my nervous habits aside from my husband and my kids, but I have a nervous habit of like, I'll go like this to my eyebrows and I'll try to pull out the loose hairs of my eyebrows because like sometimes I get some crazy, crazy hairs that like stick straight out and I will just like pull at my eyebrows just because. And same with my lashes. When I'm not wearing fake lashes, I pull at my lashes and I pick out the like, the loose ones. Like I don't like pull them out literally, but like I just kind of like, you know, and see if any fall out. Um, another bad habit that I have is I bite my lips like really bad. That's why my lips are always really, like, you know, cracked and stuff. It's totally because I bite my lips. I'm just like, <laughs> I bite the outside of my lip and then I also have piercings right here and I will bite the scar tissue from that piercing and it's just a really bad habit. It's what I do when I'm nervous. If you see me biting my lip, it's most likely because I'm a nervous wreck and I'm very anxious. How embarrassing, I can't believe I just admitted that. Number seven is what side of the bed do you sleep on? And I sleep on the right side of the bed and the reason being is, you know, you've got Mr. and you've got Miss and Miss is on the right. So I sleep on the right and Mr. is on the left. Also because my husband sleeps on the left, which is closest to the door. So it's also kind of a safety thing. Like if someone were to break in or something, you get like bust out there, like manly, you know? So it's a safety thing, but also kind of tradition. Mr. on this side, and Mrs. on this side, you know how it goes. Number eight is what was your first stuffed animal and what was its name? Honestly, I never had like a stuffed animal. I remember my first stuffed animal was this little bear and it was in like a bodysuit that was like sewn on, you know, like you couldn't take it off. And it was a white bear with little blue inner ears and pink polka dot little hoodie and it was really cute and I had a rattle in it it was maybe like you know yay big it's pretty small and it was adorable but it wasn't like my teddy you know I never really had a stuffed animal that I was like attached to like my daughter does she got it when she was eight months old from a friend she actually stole it from their kid and she named him Roo and it's a little kangaroo and she dresses him up and he's been a part of the family to the point where like if we've lost him in a store, we've gone back and got him. Rue is a member of the family. Rue goes everywhere no matter what. Rue does not get washed in the laundry room. Rue gets washed in the bathtub and then I sneak him in the dryer. Like Rue is a person, okay? But me personally, I did not have a stuffed animal like that. But I do remember my first stuffed animal, so that's good. <laughs> Next question is, what drink do you always order at Starbucks? And quite honestly, I never go to Starbucks. Like, I would rather go to a coffee bean than a Starbucks. Um, if I do happen to go to Starbucks, say I have like a gift card or it's just nearby and my husband's like, oh, I want a Starbucks. And I'm like, oh, 
Okay. Then in that case, I would get a strawberries and cream in grande with an add shot of espresso mixed in. And it's like kind of like a strawberry coffee taste. And it's just really good if they make it right. Some baristas don't know how to make it. And in that case, it's not good at all. But um, usually they do it the way I explain. And um, it ends up being really good. That is my favorite Starbucks drink. All right, so number 10 is kind of an interesting question. It says, what is the beauty rule that you preach but never practice? What kind of question is that? Everything that I've ever talked about on my channel, I do. That is what I do. And I find it weird to think of people preaching things but not actually doing them. All right, number 12 is a really weird question. It is, which way do you face in the shower? <laughs> And you get any weirder like that is so random quite honestly I don't really shower that often um, usually if I can I take a bath and um, that's because it's relaxing and I like to put in my you know bath foam or bubbles or whatever and just oh, relax I like that I'm a mommy and mommies need to just take time to themselves and relax and taking a bath means I get to just soak and unwind and it is so nice but if I do shower, which I do shower like a couple times a week. Yeah, I either face away from the faucet or towards the faucet, or I'm in the bath and neither, so. Number 13 is what is your favorite comfort food that is bad, but you love to eat anyway? I cannot resist a Carl's Jr. Famous Star Burger. That is my life. Um, if I'm ever upset or sad or stressed or angry or like super hungry, like I'm hangry, that is what Dan will get me, and it just makes my day. Number 14 is what is a phrase or exclamation that you always say? I always say, of course, what beauty girl who watches Jaclyn Hill doesn't? I always say yes. I'm like, yes, 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 to everything. Another thing I say is I die to everything. I'm like in Target, and I'm like, oh my god, I die. Like, that's so cute. Okay, or like Myla is like doing something adorable and I'm like, oh, I die. Everything makes me die. Like I'm surprised I'm still here right now because if I died as much as I say that I die, uh, yeah, I'd probably be in hell already. <laughs> Another thing that Dan says I say all the time is look it. I'm like, okay, look it. I don't know. I don't even notice when I say it to the point where like it irritates him, but like I don't know that I say it, okay? I can't help it. And the last thing that I say all the time is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I actually picked that up from my brother. My brother, God, I miss him so much. My brother Mikey, the one that I haven't seen in going on three years. Um, he said that after every single sentence and it just, yeah, I don't know, it rubbed off on me and I've been doing it for years and I don't even notice whenever I say it. So it is what it is. I don't think that will ever change. 15 is time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? And I feel like this question is really asking for something risky or like, Ooh, what's your dirt, you know? And quite honestly, I have no life. So on days when my husband has school, I don't go anywhere. So I'm in leggings and a t-shirt or sweats and a t-shirt or yoga pants and a t-shirt and that's what I sleep in also. I mean, it, there's really nothing juicy. Maybe if I have like a bangin' shave going on, I might wear some of those like hipster like shorts. I call them sleep shorts. Some people call them underwear, whatever you want to call them. That is the most risky it gets when I sleep, you guys. Like, it's just me. I'm just me. Wear a t-shirt and some leggings and I go to sleep. So, sorry, nothing juicy here. All right, you guys, that completes this video. I hope that you enjoyed this silly little tag. I thought it would be fun, especially considering I was sick all week and I did not feel well enough to do a makeup tutorial. If any of you guys are interested in doing this tag, I tag you to do it too. And also my friend Carissa who is on YouTube, if you haven't checked out her channel, I will link it down below so you guys can see her channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you are new to my channel and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye! Sometimes I feel like you guys should just talk to me through this camera. I'm in focus. I'm in focus. Yay. On a side note, if you hear my husband downstairs, yeah. It's kind of weird because I wonder if he's listening, you know? Babe. I don't think he can hear me. Feed the little girl. Just feed her.
that's how it is for me. Like, I'm the little girl, just feed me, you know. I see you, hair. I see you. I see what you're trying to do. Nope, not me.